Welcome friends. For uh, those of you who've been watching and uh, my subscribers, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome to my Archetypes and Elements series. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the Angel Archetype. And these Archetype cards come from the Carolyn Mace Archetype deck. You may want to check out her book, Sacred Contracts, or even look at her website. She's got lots of free resources there to explain more detail about these archetypes and her theory about how we um, choose these archetypes to help us before our soul incarnates. And these archetypes are here to help us fulfill our soul's contract here during our life on earth. So the angel archetype is special because, you know, angels are thought to be uh, divine beings of light, uh, living beings who uh, help humankind and are also messengers of the divine. Um, and almost all religious traditions have some form of an angel in their belief system. In some traditions, um, especially like the uh, like Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, have a belief in a personal guardian angel. Um, so angels are represented as winged beings who intervene in times of great need, or for the purpose of delivering a message or instructions from God. Um, so angels are really divine beings. So the chances are, you know, you're probably not an angel. Those of us here living our lives on earth, um, probably are not angels literally, but people with the angel archetype have a strong connection to the angelic realm. So if you like to paint angels or write about them, or if you feel like you channel messages from angels, you may identify with this archetype. Again, the way you know if it's one of your core 12 archetypes is if this plays a major role in your day-to-day -day life. So human angels um, embody loving and nurturing qualities of character. So the, the angel archetype manifested in human form means that you embody this loving and nurturing quality um, helping those in need, either anonymously or with no expectation of return. So if that really resonates with you, you may uh, have the angel archetype as one of your core 12 archetypes. Um, in its shadow aspect, sometimes we think of fallen angels like Satan or Lucifer, but the devil uh, is its own archetype unto itself. So we'll be looking at that later. Um, but, uh, you know, that's one aspect of the shadow side of the angel. But another shadow side is that there are some people who claim to be in touch with angels, but only so that they can wield control over people or just for an ego boost. So that's something to watch out for. So, yeah, the... The card here says, light attribute, helping those in need with no expectation of return. And the shadow attributes are acting innocent or angelic to mislead others and falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig into the reading. I have four stacks down here for earth, air, fire, and water. And then I have... Uh, cards from the Divine Feminine, the Goddess Inspiration Oracle, and the Divine Masculine, the Gods and Titans Oracle deck, and then all the cards from the Major Arcana of my Tarot decks are up here, um, and I'll be shuffling those live to pull out some additional messages. So the um, cards up here sort of represent the fifth element of space or the Divine. So let's start with the element of earth. And, I, and what I usually do is I introduce all the cards from the four elements, and then I go through with some interpretations, and then we'll look at the fifth element and um, maybe end with some quotes. We'll see. So 
The first card we have for the element of earth is card number one, earth angel. Huh, an angel. Not all of these are angels. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Um, and then we have from the sailor Jerry playing cards, the six of diamonds. From the antique anatomy tarot, we have the page of coins. From the Wildwood Tarot, uh, the King of Stones, the Wolf. And from the Rider Waite, we have the Two of Pentacles. From the Element of Air, we have card number 12, Butterfly Fairy Queen. From the Sailor Jerry deck, we have the King of Swords. From the Antique Anatomy Tarot, we have the Ace of Blades. From the Wildwood Tarot, we have the Ace of Arrows, the Breath of Life. And from the Rider Waite, we have the Ten of Swords. From the suit or the element of fire, we have card number two, Mystic Red Angel. From the Sailor Jerry deck, we've got the Queen of Clubs. From Antique Anatomy, the Knight of Rods. From the Wildwood Tarot, the Page of Bows. And from the um, Rider Waite, the Queen of Wands, again. And then from the uh, Element of Water, we have card number seven, Morning Spirits. From Sailor Jerry, we've got the Jack of Hearts. From the uh, Antique Anatomy, we have Queen of Elixirs. From the Wildwood Tarot, the Seven of Vessels, Morning. And from the Rider Waite, we have the Five of Vessels. Wow, there's a lot of court cards here. That's really interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and um, take a look at the messages that are coming through down here. So, um, so what's standing out to the, me the most from the earth pile is um, this two of pentacles from the Rider Waite deck. Uh, this is about bringing spirituality into the earthly realm. You can see one of the pentacles is higher than the other one. It's like he's bringing that spiritual uh, guidance and wisdom into the earthly realm. So I see angels manifesting in this manner in our lives here on earth. You know, they're bringing messages from God down to earth, literally. Um, with the king of stones and the page of coins, I'm seeing... Uh, let's see. So this could be about the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom. Um, abundance. I'm really getting like a vibe of seeking knowledge and wisdom. I'll look into this King of Stones a little bit more and get some messages from the book. And then with the Six of Pentacles, this is about bringing things into balance. And um, what I'm getting is ask and you shall receive. So I'm kind of seeing angels as helping to uh, deliver blessings into our lives. 
Let me read from the from the um, Wildwood Tarot about the King of Stones really quickly. I want to get a little more information. We had so many court cards come through in this reading. I'm wondering what the reason is for that. Hmm. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so just reading a little bit more about the wolf itself. Um, revered as a ruthless tracker and hunter, the wolf has had a special symbolism for thousands of years and was the subject of ancient Pictish stone carvings. Comfortable in the dark and cold of winter, it was seen as a guardian of the dead on their journey through the night to the, uh, to the other world. So that's another function that angels carry out. They help to uh, guard the dead on their journey to the other world. So maybe the wolf himself is sort of an angel. Okay. So let's go ahead and read what the book has to say about Earth Angel. Card number one. Earth Angel is from the hierarchy of intelligences with a specific job to do on Earth. Her brilliant aura is flowing down to the Earth. The flowers around her head are the symbols she is working with the nature spirits and herbal plants for healing. Suggestion, speak and work with the plant kingdom. In this way, your contact with the angel world will become stronger. Affirmation. I will give to the earth as it gives to me. Oh, and that ties in with the six of pentacles, you know, giving and receiving. Give to the earth as it gives to you. Okay. Also, you know, angels and the angel archetype, it's about helping those in need with no expectation of return. So it's about giving freely and being generous uh, whether someone else is paying you back or not. Okay, so in the suit of air, the element of air, we have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Arrows, the Ace of Blades, and the King of Spades. So the Ace of uh, Swords is coming up twice here as the Ace of Arrows from the Wildwood Tarot and the Ace of Blades from Antique Anatomy. So the Ace of Arrows is about that initiation of communication, of pure thought. So um, I really think that this is talking about how angels provide us with messages from the divine. Um, and also how they, um, some of the angels wield the sword of truth, particularly Archangel Michael. Um, so I think that's what's coming through here. Um, we can get some more um, messages in just a moment. Um, with the Ten of Swords, you know, this picture is very bleak. But I think maybe what the message is here is that, um, you know, the angels are there to help us in our darkest hour, when, when, when we're most in need, when we've hit rock bottom. You can see the, sun, the uh, sunrise out on the horizon here. So I think that that's what this means. Like angels are here to provide us with the truth, with messages of hope in our, in our most dire time of need. And then we have the King of Angels, so that's about truth, um, making clear decisions. So let me read from the book a little bit about the Ace of Arrows in the Wildwood Tarot.
by breathing life into a thought and pursuing it to its material creation in the real world, we engage in an ancient and unique relationship with the universe and the divine. Our minds are linked to a greater consciousness, its power and effectiveness waiting only for the question. As the first formation of an idea or concept crystallizes in your mind, the primal creative energy connects you to the breath of life. So it's about that um, connection between the divine and the material world and breathing your ideas into reality. Let's see if the antique anatomy book has anything interesting to say about this card. Yeah, so in the Antique Anatomy deck, this is just associated with raw intellectual energy, ideas, rationality, knowledge, and understanding. Um, knowledge is vast, beautiful, and accessible, and it's just waiting for you to use it to improve your life. So I really think this is more of just a confirmation that um, of, of the Ace of Arrows message that um, angel, the angel archetype is here to help us manifest our thoughts and ideas into reality and to connect those thoughts and ideas with inspiration from the divine. So let's read a little bit about the Butterfly Fairy Queen, Element of Air, card number 12, from the Working with the Elements Oracle deck. Here we go. The queen is flowing with all of God's colors, cascading like a rainbow, moving from flower to flower. She is an inspiration to artists, helping the artist cross the bridge between the two worlds. It is in this world we connect with the angel of art and color. Art is a wonderful way to unfold your spiritual gifts that we all have, so try and draw and color your meditation. Affirmation, I will surround myself in rainbow colors. Well, that's cool, using inspiration to create art. Perhaps angels are there to help us do that. And, and one of the things that I picked up in the, um, I'm from Carolyn, Mace's website resources is that, um, you know, some people who have this angel archetype are, are um, drawn to creating art that focuses on angels, writing or painting or drawing pictures of angels. So that might resonate with some of you. Okay, so in the fire pile, we had the Queen of Wands show up twice. And then we had the Knight of Rods and the Page of Bows. So we have all court cards here. Um, so let's focus first on the Queen of Wands since she showed up twice. So I think like what the message is here is that um, angels are here to inspire us. I mean, I think that's why these court cards all came out because all of the court cards in the suit of fire are are very inspiring and inspired and the suit of wands is um the suit of spiritual inspiration so um the queen is more focused on um internal energy um internal focus Whereas the Knight of Rods would be more focused on um, action, moving forward towards uh, your divine goals. And then the Page of Bows is about exploration 
exploring different ideas. Okay, so the Mystic Red Angel came up from the Working with the Four Elements deck, and this is the Two of Fire. The red angel is revealing herself, coming from the darkness into the light. Her eyes are fully open. You have nothing to fear. The greatest fear to overcome is ourselves. The peacock feathers in the card are falling away, revealing the true beauty that is within us all. The beams of light are showing the pathway to our spiritual development. Suggestion. In your meditation, ask what fear is holding me back from new changes? And then affirmation is, I can overcome everything with the Spirit's help. Okay, so what I'm getting here from the fire is to, you know, have courage, be brave, move forward, um, do not be afraid, and, um, and be ready to transform yourself. Okay, so next we have water. So we have the Queen of Elixirs, the Queen of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Seven of Vessels, which in the Wildwood Tarot is uh, called mourning. So all three of these cards, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Vessels, mourning, and um, the Five of Cups are all about sadness and grief and loss. So I think this is kind of Coming back again to that point that the angels are here for us in our time of need, in our darkest hour, when we're at a loss. And then with this morning card, there's also that aspect of the angels guiding us to the next world. Okay. And the Jack of Hearts could mean either the page of cups or the knight of cups um and to me this is just indicating that you know we should move forward through our lives with love moving on past sadness moving on with love and then we also have uh from the four elements deck morning spirits Card number seven. So here's what the book has to say about morning spirits. I hope you can see this. Each morning brings a new energy of activity to all the elements of the nature spirits from the fairies to the great diva's kingdom unfolding God's beauty to mankind from a dew drop on a leaf with a rainbow in each drop to the mighty oceans, mountains, volcanoes, and sky, we are connected to all the elements. Suggestion. Spending time in nature can help us come closer to understand the great power of God within us. Affirmation. I will liberate myself from all fear. So again, that theme of being liberated from fear is coming up. So I'm getting kind of three major themes here, um, being generous with our gifts towards others, um, helping others with no expectation of return, being divinely inspired, and um, calling on the angels in our time of need. Um, 
and then having no fear and moving forward with love in our lives. Okay. So let's uh, look at the messages from the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, and then we'll pull the cards from the Major Arcana. So from the Divine Feminine, oh wow, okay. We have Sophia, Feminine Wisdom. Listen to the wisdom of your soul. And you can see on here, she has feathers on her sleeves because Sophia is a feminine angel. Um, so let's uh, read that. <laughs> That's really interesting. I think she's the only, she's probably the closest thing to a, a Christian angel that is in my, my uh, goddess deck here. Okay, so Sophia represents the soul, knowledge, and purity. The goddess Sophia is considered the divine embodiment of feminine wisdom. Her name translates literally as wisdom in Greek. In the ancient Near East, Sophia provided humans with the knowledge needed to create literature and the arts. Sophia symbolized the soul in its purest manifestation. She is often represented in art as having the form of a dove. Later, history associated Sophia with the Holy Spirit in Gnosticism. Gnosticism, derived from Gnosis, the Greek word for knowledge, grew alongside early Christianity. Some Gnostic traditions even claimed Sophia as the mother of Christ. An important tenet of Gnosticism held that knowledge could free humanity from the shackles of limitation. It enabled the divine spirit every person possessed to return to the, know to the unknowable source of creation. Listen to the wisdom of your soul. Beautiful. Okay, and then from the Gods and Titans Oracle, we have Dionysus, hmm. ecstasy. Let's see what the book says about him. And this says, let go, feel the freedom of pleasure at its most divine and reject the mundane. Oh, so Dionysus is a liberator. It's all about freedom and liberation. So to me, I'm getting this as a message that's confirming that we should liberate ourselves from fear and move forward with love. Okay. So what messages do we have from the Major Arcana about the angel archetype? So we have justice. We have the sign of life. Oh wow. And we have the sun again. 
All right. Yeah, so the Sun card is about happiness, freedom again, kind of confirming that message from Dionysus. Um, shining a light in the darkness, clarity, getting clarity and messages from the divine. And the sun card is really special to me because whenever this comes up, it confirms to me that, um, that my spirit guides are uh, involved in the message. So that came up twice, so that's really special. Um, and then with the justice, the sword and the scales, to me, this card um, is the embodiment of Archangel Michael in the Rider Waite tarot deck. There are uh, four different cards that feature archangels, in my mind. I've, different people interpret them differently, but Archangel Michael is sometimes seen depicted holding the scales and the Sword of Truth as well. So I'm seeing this today justice represented as Archangel Michael, who delivers divine justice, um, who helps humans, he advocates for humans, and for those who are faithful, and uh, meets out divine justice against uh, the forces of evil. Okay, so I think I'm going to get a few earthly quotes from uh, special men and women who have walked the earth or who are with us now during these crazy times. Well, I don't know. This might mean something to somebody. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere. They're in each other all along. Okay. And you'd be surprised how fast things happen when the right man comes along, Daniel Steele. So these are both messages about romance and love, it sounds like, but you know, maybe the angels can help bring love into our lives. And sometimes love helps to serve a higher purpose as well. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Um, Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed these types of readings, please stay tuned. I'm gonna be going through each of the archetypes. And um, if you uh, wanna help support the channel, please like, share, and su subscribe. Uh, thank you for your time. Oh, next time we're gonna be talking about the artist. So stay tuned. Thank you.